What's up? It's the NSK here. <laughs> Look at me trying to be a superstar. I mean, of course I am a superstar. But let me take my shades off just for your benefit. Uh, yes, usually I'm on radio, but look at us bringing Industry Loop to life, y'all. So with Industry Loop, as you know, for the past seven years or so, we've been giving you a column that focuses on entertainment news, entertainment industry, and everything gossip, all of our nonsense. We gossip, we talk, and we fight on Industry Loop, and we did it every single Friday. And we thought, listen, why not bring visuals to it? Here we go. Here we are. So let's get to it. All right. My name is NSK. Thank you so much for joining us that side today. And this is the uh, uh, one of the uh, premium episodes of uh, Industry Loop. So now, getting into our uh, our column for today. Now, I spoke a lot of nonsense, like I always do. I I find the thing that uh, when I speak my nonsense, it actually makes sense. But I'm going to read it out loud to you, just so that you understand the premise of today's episode. All right. Now, today, be giving that ode to Pombili Shilongo. By the way, get yourself a copy of the New Era every single day, not just on Fridays, but specifically on Fridays because I'm in it. You know, <laughs> Let's read this uh, column for today, all right? In the Shilu. It reads, The last time I dedicated a column to someone was Gaza, and people called it D-Riding. Today's edition of Industry Loop is dedicated to Pombili Shilongo. One wonders what they would call today's dedication to Pombili. <laughs> Let your mind run well. Anyways, uh, Pombili has been training all week because of her, uh, of her new ambassadorial role as the newest face of Mercedes Benz. Okay? And I know we, every tribe has their own way of uh, pronouncing Mercedes Benz. Mercedes Benz. Uh, Mercedes, uh, it's a Caribe. It's fine. It's all right. As long as it's Mercedes Benz, we know it's that premium car. Bombili is the face of it. Now the column reads: As much as industry players like myself have been happy for Bombili, there are others who have been quizzing why Mercedes Benz went for Bombili. She is irrelevant, they say. She is just a woman, they say. It's probably just the connections they say i'm going to attempt to address all three of these uh, phrases uh, that kept on coming up on twitter or in my kind of conversations with industry players now just so that you you understand what i mean by kind of conversations i have people every day that call me from the industry outside the industry that just start debates yeah but nsk do you really think jericho can come back yeah but nsk but like but like why bombili so let's talk about it Getting back that side to uh, uh, the uh, column itself, all right? Now, Bombili has been a Namibian TV darling since a very young age. We have a whole generation who grew up watching her on shows like Wataguan on Namibia's national broadcaster. Who, and, and, and with that, she successfully graduated to being a TV presenter uh, uh, on, um, uh, uh, you know, or she... No, she, she graduated to producing shows, for that matter, um, and hosting mega platforms like Namas, multiple times for that matter. So how, my question to you is, how is someone who did all of that not relevant enough for a motor ambassadorial role? So now I ask you, <laughs> Pombili, Shilongo, in the house. Yes, I gossiped about you in my column. And I'm like, listen, if I'm going to write about you, I might as well bring you in and ask you the questions that everyone has been dying I for read, answers for. I read the article and, um, you know, it was, it was written with so much humor, but so much authenticity as well. Um, and I loved it because, you know, of late you don't really get to read as it is. Let's just put it out there. You know, there's, there's obviously reading a novel and then you're reading drama and then you're reading an article but mm -hmm. you're reading this one with so much facade you know it's so much of it is what it is i mean as, in as much as yes we just got this role there's still the naysayers you know mm -hmm. and how often do you get to read an article with the naysayers involved in it 
and um, you left us hanging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why we have you here. You left us hanging. So it's like, what? <laughs> we are done now. Is the is where the continued part page two? Yeah, page two or, or more. We were done, and I was like, here wow, I loved it. I really here we loved are. It. Yeah. So welcome to the industry, Lubumbi. Thank you for having me. Listen, you've been in the industry for so like the man. You you've been here. Literally a decade and a half. <laughs> like, like literally a decade and a half. Yeah. And this is now like from your dancing days. Literally, if we have to take it back, let's yeah. start from the dancing days. Yeah. From Equip Dancing Academy. Dancing Academy, yeah. To Shout TV. out to Stanley, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To TV presenting. Yeah. Um, you know, to modeling. I, I modeled for South Africa's top models when they came to Namibia, David Klale. Mm. Um, and then obviously to radio. And then you have your television. When it comes to television, I've hosted uh, the NAM Auto Show, for those that don't know. I oh, yeah, the NAM, that was actually pretty dope. dope. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, show yeah. is still on YouTube, so you guys can go check oh, it out yeah. in case you, you have no idea where that transition from. And then obviously to your main stage, the Namibian Annual Music Awards, to the show that made me, uh, Wata Guan. And then, of course, producing, I came up with the concept of what's a lifestyle. Mm. And um, I was actually the very first person to come up with a reality TV show for Namibia. And we co-worked alongside with that, um, with Maria Nepembe. And that was Body by Maria Nepembe. So uh, we worked together in terms of coming up with that. So in terms of production, in terms of producing and, and working for a broadcaster, I think every year I've really pushed myself to always come up with something fresh hand it over and then continue. But after I did Body with Maria Nepembe, there was really nothing more I could do after a reality TV show. Yeah. There was really nothing. And my niche is not really current affairs and, and news. That stuff is too serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let, let, let Blanche handle yeah, it. No, no, no. I cannot be that serious in yeah. life. No, you know, you, you want to attend something, some press conference, and you want to attend the booty on the side. I respect <laughs> you, those guys that can do that. <laughs> yes, you know. So obviously the brand was being built in the course of these 10 years, you know. And we must look at it that as, as the brand was growing, as the name was becoming a name, there wasn't a fuzz of social media as it is right now. Mm. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And there wasn't also a way of us realizing that, oh, wait a minute, this tool can actually bring in an income. Um, if, if that was the case, trust me, half of us on social media wouldn't be doing the kind of things that we've been doing. True, true, you get what true. I mean? And it comes obviously with growth. So when brands, then when I left the broadcaster and then I went into aviation, um, food, aviation, that not happening. And also I think... You went into aviation? I went into aviation. Dude. I went into, I, I went to SAA hmm. and then I did a course on Kevin Crew. And then I did a course on PPL. So while yeah. I was doing my Kevin Cross, sort of like intrigued to do a, a private plane license. And that took a bit of, of longer time. So I then did it online. And then when I went to go and do my actual physical training classes, and then I did it from mm. there. But I have no interest in flying. <laughs> you have no interest in flying, even until now. Okay, she, she, I, would, she would rather I mean, drive a Benz. I would rather, you know, like, you know, yeah, like yeah. I'm excited and everything, but simulators and the drills yeah, yeah. and the ditching, it just kind of woke me up like, yo, I have a choice of how I want to die. <laughs> this is not one of them. But I mean, obviously, I'm a qualified uh, PPL and Kevin crew uh, yeah, um, member. Yeah. So, I mean, when I get onto planes, I always opt to sit by the windows mm. because I know emergency drills and all of that. Mm -hmm. In the situation, of course, I'm well able to assist. And I mean, I love it that with SAA, your license doesn't expire. Yeah. You know, you only have to be attached to a plane or to a company for recurrent to to have it updated yeah. and renewed so you know those are the two things i've always wanted to do is television and aviation and yeah. when i got the reality of aviation i was like sharp i thought let me explore something else ah, no, no no it's okay yeah let me let me keep my license so let me explore something else and uh, to be very honest influencing just started happening you know mm. uh, maguire gave me a call and he said hey listen i would like to have a meeting with you and i want people to understand Brands attach themselves to personalities. They do not attach themselves to a person. They do not attach mm. themselves to who you think it is about and the naysayers and the names and the status. Every brand wants to, their brand to be represented by a well-charactered personality. Mm. And what is the point of we give a car to NSK who has a brilliant voice on, on, on radio, you know, he has a good energy on air. And then in person, Neman, 
People can't even say hi, hi to Jimmy. this guy. The guy says he's a know? superstar. Just, he, just, 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 I mean? just, just, just. He doesn't even have time to respond to his, <laughs> to his Instagram face. Um, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. People or people just can't relate. And so you need to take your own journey and sort of present that journey to a client. That's your narrative. You know, mm -hmm. that's your selling point. Because at the end of the day, every product out there, clients and companies just want to show you how this newspaper pays, uh, plays a role in your life every day. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, so it becomes authentic. It doesn't become, hi guys, did you read today's newspaper? Check it out. It looks, look, it looks very forced, isn't it? Literally. I'm not going to lie to you, Pompili. You know, like I, 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 like I'm, listen, when it comes to industry loop, I am very, very real yeah. with, with what I say. I didn't understand the other craft of influencing. Yeah, yeah. I hated the craft of influencing <laughs> because from my point, all I saw were naked women and men um, showing their abs, showing yeah. their thighs. Yeah. Their numbers go up. Obviously, we are human beings. If you see a beautiful of freaking course. woman, oh, beautiful course. freaking man, you follow, uh, and then, you like, and you, you try to make the, make sure that they you they see you. And that's it. Exactly. And that's what I love. This is what yeah. I love about Namavi because we are still very, very conservative. Yeah. And I don't understand how some people still don't tap into it, that you, you must be cautious of how you get your followers. If you're stripping yourself to get your followers, then that's the status you must ma you must maintain. maintain because that's the audience you attract. Yes. But now you can't get to a specific level of saying, oh, I got myself 10,000 followers. Uh, now I can go to company XYZ and say about numbers because I love how social media is transitioning because it's about demographic. It's about reach. Mm -hmm. You have somebody who has 2,000 followers but is reaching 180K. And mm -hmm. I mean, the socials are now showing you on your own um inside dashboard to yes, see look yes. even people that are not following you have that reach so what happens to this person that have accumulated all of these numbers mm. i need people to get the numbers out of their mind numbers is just a facade i can have two hundred and fifty thousand people following me but i don't have two hundred and fifty thousand people active every day oh man what am Thank i you. saying yeah. how many people got access to a cell phone logged onto instagram they followed me now they don't have access to their account anymore Mm. Mm. and then they go and reopen another account it's a count on my side yeah. but it's an active count is it an active account it's not you understand do you yeah. get what i mean yeah. how many people have access to data every single day to keep up with what you're doing right. not everybody then you look at your demographics in namibia you look at our population you calculate if we're what one point something mil out of that one point something mil how many people have access to a phone how many of them then have access to a smartphone? Mm. How many of them then have an access to a smartphone that have actually signed up to social media? Yeah, now, yeah. the ones that have actually signed up to social media, how many of them are active? Mm. It mm. brings you down mm. to a mm. very, very minimum demographic. So, yes, uh, people think numbers play a big role. It, it, it doesn't. You still have the work to do. So, so in, the, in, the, in the business of uh, radio and uh, media and TV, we have uh, something called the media matrix, yeah. right? So with the media matrix, uh, we have Vision Africa that True. goes out in the, in the field. Um, they do the research in terms of which radio stations are the ones that are popping, which TV stations are the ones that are, you know what I mean, that have the numbers yes, and so on. Yes. Maybe, just, maybe we need a meter, media matrix for influence. No, it's there. Oh, it's there already. It's, it's there. If I can just grab my phone, it's yeah. there. I just think, like I said, um, and these are things I want to sort of like emphasize with my masterclass to come up. There are apps out there where, and it's okay, you can, you can actually, it's called um, fakefollowers.com or on, or on the <laughs> website. You can detect fake followers. It's very easy. And when, they, when, when we say fake followers, we're yeah. not necessarily saying um, you went to go and buy followers or whatever the narrative yeah. might be. An act, a non-active account, a non-active account that has followed you mm. and is not active is regarded as a fake, a fake follower, follower because yeah. it's not active. Yeah. So what am I saying? I might have 200,000 followers, but I only have 150 mm. active followers. Mm. Instagram mm. can't unfollow those fake accounts yeah. of your yeah. account because yeah. they actively went to follow you yeah. and then they're inactive. Exactly. So what yeah. you do with this app, you just go on and then you tap in anybody's name. And then it just shows you that, look, this is the person's total Are follower. You you not. It's there. Oh and, my God, and companies you learn do something this. new every day. And this is what I keep telling people. It's there every day. It's accessible. And this is what um, agencies and companies do. So they uh -huh. then say, okay, great. We've heard of this name. Let's see what is her demographics. And yeah. they get to see the exact demographics that are in your Instagram insights. 
So you cannot go and sell. You can't sell numbers. <laughs> you can't go and sell numbers. Yeah. But I think it's just a methodology of we're not really adjusting to the tools and what is available out there. And so I think, again, people's niche are different. They are st- the, the, my, my target is very corporate. And so because it's corporate, there are seasons that can make a noise and really, in this case, there are seasons where you just have to be quiet. True. You know, sure, and sure. being quiet doesn't mean that you're irrelevant. It's just that I'm not doing things yeah. to keep me relevant. That's going to keep me out of the bigger bag that I'm looking at. It's great. You all go for the $2,000. Keep, you know, reviving and making your plan louder and what it is. Mm-hmm. It works for you. You'll be relevant for that time. Right. But when the opportunity opens up, are you relevant for that brand? Okay. I'm happy you asked that. Yeah. Or you brought, the, brought up the point. Because there are people that are asking why Pombili? Yeah. Because whoa, 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 the it last is, time we is. checked there, she was on Watangwani. <laughs> yeah, oh, the last okay. time we checked there, oh, what? You know, she was doing something with who? You know what I mean? We, we don't even know what, what is happening. What, what, is, what is happening <laughs> here? Why, why? Now, Machete Bins. For who? For what? What do you mean? So there's something uh, significant I learned from Bolly, um, who happens mm, to be one veteran. of my, the veteran, one of my mm. really uh, media, uh, you know, Mongols that I look up to. And um, Bolly has always said, because it was a time I left television, I think that was 2016, I stopped presenting what I wanted and I went into production mm. full time. And I would, sometimes I'll just be like, yo, why is it that every time I'll go out there, you'll meet someone for the first time and they meet you with so much excitement. And in your mind, you're like, the last time I was on TV was 2016. And Bolly said something very profound to me. He said, you need to understand the power of media. You need to understand the power of television and how it best works for you. There will always be somebody out there who will meet you for the very first time and will have the same excitement as though they watched you on television. <laughs> that is a reminder of a non-dying brand. Mm. So you can always choose to say, listen, okay, yes, I used to do this and I'm done with that. That's not who I am. That's not the narrative that you have been plugged in people's mindset. In people's mindset, that's Pondili, the girl that used to present Wataguan when I was growing up. When I was in high mm. school, that is the girl. And so because that narrative is there in this case, that's what I leverage on. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. Yeah, I don't yeah. need to continue building relevancy and consistency because my audience was a still a what's Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and be at the clubs and, 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 and TikTok we challenges. Clubbing, we were and, clubbing, you know? know? When we're looking for houses, we're all looking for houses mm. now. When we're looking for cars, we're looking for cars now. We're mm. settling. That's still my audience until... You Such know, when decide yeah. to come. Yeah. I don't need to switch my demographics and now pretend like I am not somebody in my 30s, mm. be out there on TikTok trying to convince Generation Z. Habana, there's another Pombili <laughs> exactly. Generation Z. Let me ask you this, Pombili. I mean, we will come back to this conversation yeah. because it's interesting. We will continue with it definitely. Um, the, the subject of influencing is is is, is a never. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's like infinite. It's an infinite conversation. Yeah. yeah. Because there's so many layers to it. Yeah. <laughs> It's the NSK on Industry Loop. We've decided to visualize this baby. Thank you so much for choosing us. This will come to you every other Friday as we just, you know, we listen, because I took a lot of nonsense, by the way. Okay. So I publish my column every Friday with the Namibia's biggest newspaper brand, The New Era. And sometimes people ask me, yeah, but NSK, how do you talk about these people? How do you speak all this nonsense? Well, we've decided to visualize it and we're going to have the people in the studio like for it. you to tell it is, okay, the way it should be, okay? Yeah. And today we've got Bombili because with Bombili, I did write about her and I did give her old and I gave her salutations. But at the same time, I asked, listen, and I addressed the concerns, <laughs> concerns. <laughs> I addressed the, <laughs> the, the, the pushback from people saying, yeah, but why? Pombili Shilongo, all right? Now, before we went on the break with Pombili, yeah. we were speaking about, about just how how powerful of a brand yeah. and, how, and like how powerful of a brand you are and the advice that you got from your mentors and so on. And 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 one thing that we cannot take away from you is, is, is your past and your attachment to the national broadcaster. Yeah. Yeah. Just real quick, make us understand, what happened there? Did you quit? Yep. Did you quit? Literally. You decided, listen, I've reached my ceiling. I woke up, I came to work, I wasn't feeling the vibe. I thought maybe it's the energy or maybe I'm like tired or mm. something. Uh, I went to go see a psychologist and, you know, just You went to go down. see a psychologist? No yeah, hard. because, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes 
get to that point, and everybody will get to that point where you just you need to diverse, and that's why I thought at the begin at the very very beginning I thought maybe I'm just tired of this because I started doing it for such a long time and mm. I started at, at a young age, so let me venture into a different career. Mm. And when, even when I did venture into a different career, that was even worse. I didn't even last two weeks, didn't even last a week. <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to be. Yeah, what's boys. happening here? Yeah. It's just not my thing, you know? I was just like, thank you guys for the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just out. And I mean, obviously, everyone else panics because they're like, yo, what happens to your provision now? And how are you going to manage now? What's the game plan? And I'm just like, there's no game plan yet, but we're cool. Like, I just know that chapter of my life so it's nothing really that um bad happened you yeah know, there's I, no bad blood there there's no bad blood there i really chipped out you know we had a very good farewell mm. and i just shop shop that was it but obviously it's also just one of the, those places that i still go back to to say hey how are you guys i always acknowledge that it played a vital role um in my career or mm. in building giving me a brand and making my making my name a brand um, but I guess from that point on and to where it is, I needed to, you know, push. I needed to pull my brand. I don't think I would have been a firstly Coca-Cola influencer then as of now, power play influencer. I don't think I would have been on standard bank billboards, mm. you know. I don't think I would have been driving a Merc C200. <laughs> you get what I mean? <laughs> if I was still seated there and, and just... Being that person, I really had to change a lot. Um, stop listening to music and start listening to motivational talks. I mm. listen to Jim Ron, mm. like cup and tea, coffee and drink, you know. And not only listen to, to, to such motivational stuff, but also start um, executing. I started looking at a year as only an eight-month plan and not a 12-year plan. I started looking at, you know, in Namibia, what's the best productive time? Uh, when is when is the perfect time to draft up presentations and proposals, and when is the best time to hand them out? Mm. Um, my year exists only of six months times two, so I kick off immediately uh, December, January, February. That's that's your aggressive. That's, that's, that's your aggressive, aggressive yeah, year, you yeah. know. March, April, May, it's my second aggressiveness. May, we do an assessment, then we're back June, July, August. Right after August, for me, the year has ended. Because you're only left with September, October, yeah. and November. And you, we all know by the time we get to November, nobody wants to hear yeah, the yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, People Everyone's are tired. Everyone's talking about year and functions. Yeah. And, and so you have to look at what your country operates in and when are then your best times. And that's why I said even with MNZ, when we started having the conversations, the narrative was around, let's launch June, July, because mm. that's the perfect timing. Um, it's very quiet. Everybody will be edged to go out, but then again, it would be trending because that's the only thing that's happening. Mm. I've studied the calendar. Like now, come you know the next months to come, everybody else is going to be squeezing all the way out August, September, October, November because then it's like we suddenly remember that it's summer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> suddenly, yeah. every year, yeah. same problem. We suddenly remember that it's summer. So I'm really one of those people that I'm a go-getter. I stay in my lane and I do my thing. Mm. You know, I don't focus on naysayers and that's twitter for you i love it it's there twitter will glorify you today tomorrow they'll crush you you've got nothing to do with me if you really do your research most top uh, top companies are even advised to not sign up onto twitter because not necessarily that it, it, it wasn't designed for good positivity to build you mm. and so if that's where you want to put your focus in i mean i would have definitely been there and i would have put my focus right there but i'm just somebody that you know what i <laughs> I've got four years to go, <laughs> I've got five years to go, I've got six years to go to 40. I need to put certain things into place so that by the time I'm in my 40s, you know, I'm sitting, mm. you know, and investing in my family and not running around. Let's talk family, um, Pombili. Right. Um, obviously, when you had to now explain to your family yeah. that you quit uh, the national broadcaster, yeah. Which I mean, even if even my mom until today, she keeps asking me, make it what much you got over the other can't be NBC make it. And it's like, ah, Zali, we are fine, don't worry. So imagine having to explain to your parents now or yeah. to your family uh, to who you answer. Yeah. Ah, Nate, Shab Shabena with uh, NBC. Yeah. What was the What was the reception there? The Did biggest you? support uh, support system I got was my sister. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, she's just like, yay, kudos. So what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> And she's the oldest, mind you. And yeah. I'm like, this is not how you're supposed to be reacting. And she's just like, no, man, things have changed. You know, uh, people are building generational wealth and they're building their empires. And so your your narrative is completely different. And if you're done, you're just done. So mm. take your time out. She's like, take your time out, pray, intercede fast, you know. Find your niche, find where God is diversing you to when directing you to, and then you focus on that, you know. So I was sorted for like the first six to nine months because, I mean, I had a property that I was renting out. Yeah, so there was yeah. already minor things that, and I just used my pension money. I was like, I'm going to leave off what I worked for because I worked for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all these years. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I, so <laughs> I was just like, cool, great, let's do this, you know. Um, but obviously my mom was just like, oh, She's already skeptical about this airplane thing because she just feels like you're gonna fall out of the sky. <laughs> I've shown her like you know I've dived, I've done like skydiving yeah. just to warm her up, which was very exciting for me to drill and I would want to do it again. Mm. She's like, no, you know you, you just just go back. Our parents are really built. Their yes. system is built yeah. on security, mm. and it's one of my favorite books by Robert Kiyosaki who speaks about um, you know certain systems were built up to enhance and keep people rich. To, to, keep the system rich mm. you know you need to give birth to kids that will go to school and the school's kids will end up working for people systems mm. you know the and system, so the cycle continues. and the cycle continues and so because they fell into that cycle um it's just natural it's just obvious that they would want to pass that cycle over to us because that was security for them um and now what nsk what job is this way today the money can disappear, you guys can be retrenched, there's no contract, what is happening? It's not really their narrative. What you MC them, then you made a 40,000, I don't understand. Hmm. What is this imbalance? Yeah, what is this imbalance in the next two months is... And it requires <laughs> extremely high financial discipline yeah. because you can lend yourself a gig that just lends you 100,000 and then you lend yourself another gig that's just $2,000, hmm. you know? But you just need to learn and find a way how to navigate it. But I think over time, uh, with my sister, with my brother's support, and I mean, even till now, I don't think my mom is there. She's not convinced. She's not. She's not. Even she like with never, the I don't think she will become this. No, she's just like. Okay, <laughs> oh, the I Zali's see this, but yeah. You can't take it away from them because it's yeah. just how they that's work. just who they are. That's who how they, they are. Ingrained. It's how yeah. they were ingrained. Yeah. So it's always important to also understand them, and then you you break it down in intervals. You know, you just share with them what you feel is relevantly good for them to understand, mm. and then the rest you leave it out. Before I let you go, probably. Um, look, we have a support structure, boss, yeah. and we also have our special people, boss. Also. <laughs> we have a special people, boss. We have a special oh, people yes. that, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> that uh, keep us warm at night and when, when, when the world is a, a, annoying us. You know, where you have to deal with NSKs of this world and yeah. the naysayers and yeah. maybe even the executives of Mercedes-Benz that decided, <laughs> listen, we're going to upgrade your car to a helicopter, Mercedes-Benz. Now you are like, I don't know how what to drive. <laughs> um, your support structure in terms of your, your, your love partner. Yeah. Um, I, 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 how, how was it in terms of that, in terms of him? Did he understand that? Does he understand it today? Yeah. Um, uh, um, and, and also maybe because I'm, cause, cause, cause I'm sure like for him, it was like, yo, I'm, I'm dealing with this powerhouse of a woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, did he understand it? Did I he understand think, the work that you do? To be very honest, NSK, and, and yo, I, I don't know how I can ever explain this. Mm. I am yet to match up to his level. Oh snap! Yes, because um, if I have to be very honest, it's not really, it's not really about what we acquire or don't acquire. Mm. It's just that I have never met somebody who is extremely focused on their goal and their vision, irregardless of what is wavering. They are overly and hundred percent committed to making a vision a reality, mm. and because their vision is so clear. And because they have already a plan, well-planned and well-established and well-laid out to say, look, <laughs> I got four years to go, I'm really running out of time. Mm-hmm. You know you know how difficult it is to even create a pity party mm-hmm. <laughs> with someone who's mm-hmm. that focused because mm-hmm. you can make, give a call and say, hi, my love, it's Friday afternoon. Do you know that most families right now at home are just spending time together? I, yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, that's why they ain't reaching to their goal. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, do you understand what yeah. I'm trying to and say? And it frustrates you at times, right? It frustrates you because it's 
just like yeah, and it, as much yeah. as it frustrates me, it brings me it back also, to like, yeah. oh, you gotta get your stuff into order, mm. yeah, because now you want to throw a pity party to throw somebody off their A game when they have it sorted. You get mm. what I mean? Mm. Just sort yourself out, you know, fix what you gotta fix, and that's why I'm saying I critically always have to work on my mind because. When the person gets home, when we get home, it's like, okay, there's an office space where we work and there's books that we're yeah. reading. If I really force him to say, listen, we need to spend time together, switch off all of the TVs and everything, he will still sit in the couch with a book. <laughs> <laughs> because for him, it's just like, I think for me, that time I can learn something, I can invest in myself. So mm. that is what I mean when I say that I'm yet to get to that level because some of us get thrown off by a simple social media comment. Mm. We get thrown off by... NSK didn't say hi to me. Are you are you kidding me? Are you are you being serious mm. right now? When you know your position in NSK's life, there's nothing that can shake you. If you're secure, fine. But now that you're secure in that area, baby girl, what about your plan and your vision? Because before the two can become one, you all have different plans. Mm. You all have different visions. And they have to align. And they have to when, align at some once, point. Once, once we come together, do you get it? what I yeah, mean? Yeah. And at the end of the day, we're still going to be two grown old people living their dreams together mm, <laughs> to mm, get it so yeah. we get thrown off course so quickly we get deteriorated by the smallest of things and that's why i'm saying that you constantly have to work on your mental capacity okay. because people don't get wavered off that but in terms of the person that he is very very supportive very moti uh, motivational do you get what i yeah. mean very warm very gentle and a very great parent so three quick questions <laughs> before we let you go yeah three quick questions Okay, I'm going to fire away uh, one at each time. I'll ask you a question, your answer. Okay. Let me get back to it, okay, before we end it. Um, what is the type of gig you will never, ever accept? Anything alcohol-related. Even stuff. I don't know. Anything, anything alcohol-related, I wouldn't. It's like Zamale, Punya like Punya. Champagne, definitely. Champagne. I mean, because that is still yeah. classy. But... <laughs> No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because okay. I just don't j drink it, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, I'm yeah. not your black... Like, you're not going to lie about it. Be like, oh, 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 just because now a beer company is approaching you, you know no. for a fact you don't drink beer. And then I'm on a black label poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. never... Just here, yeah, come I'm on, trying to be cute I with it. I'm very genuine with myself, eh? They'll be like, it's just not for me. That's very really powerful. I'm not lying to you. Like, not, not a lot of, not a lot of uh, um, um, influencers can say that, I yeah, promise no, you. No alcohol for me. No okay, cool. No, it's not my thing. Do you still dance? No. <laughs> that is the honest truth. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if, if ever. I, I just wish there was videos in the past, you know, yeah, the yeah. of us dancing. Because now, even when people are just doing the basic trending moves. I'm yeah, like, like little TikTok moves. Yo. What are those moves? Like, uh, uh, what is uh, going on? Uh, 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 there's one that's trending right now. And um, simple things, hey? It's okay, not even like... pointy thing. Yeah. You know, give me zero. Zero. <laughs> Mine is zero. <laughs> One last question. One last question. Okay. okay. We're on a C class right now. Do we want to move upper class? No. You love the C class. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> you're keeping it there for now. <laughs> I'm loving it. I swear to God. Oh, wait, wait. You're keeping it there because it's like it's less complications. Yo. You know what? I'm like, oh, okay, so this is how it is. Uh, put the lights on auto, put everything in. Okay, we, we, we yeah, good? Good. Yeah. yeah, no, we're good. Yeah. But I mean, maybe, to be very honest, maybe after two years or something like that. Yeah, then we can look at women it. Women are very, yeah. we get attached very quickly mm. um, and we bond very quickly. So once you start getting a flow of parking your car and moving mm. around and, oh, this is how smooth it is and this is how it is, you, you know. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, bonus question. Mm -hmm. Have you named her? No, I'm, I'm guessing it's a hair. No, we haven't yet because we're uh, planning to run a competition. Uh -huh. Like I said, this is a win for creators. Okay. In as much as it's a win for myself, um, we're planning to run a competition where people can just come up with a name, mm. and pick the top five, and then from the top five, let people select the best name. Mm. And that winner will okay. then have, you know, a beautiful hamper and we get to go out for a ride. Yeah. Bonus question. <laughs> Bonus question. Do you know where to put in the well? Yes. Well, you know, you know. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah, yes. oh, you, 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 yeah, you know, you, you figured it out a bit. But let, me make, let me make you laugh. So, yeah. you know, I get to the petrol station and um, I switch off the engine. I can find me and the car where you have to open. Wait, wait, which, which car did you drive? I had a Swift. You had a Swift. I had a Swift. So, I, I mean, I would usually just open. 
open, yeah. you know, like oh, and then you know <laughs> you go there manually. Yeah, I switch the engine on. The guy is like, "Meme, switch on your engine." Look at this guy. I'm like, switch on the engine. Now. You know, put in petrol. With the yeah. On. It's, it's <laughs> I'm just like, no, but that it just opened because me, I can't see the story anyway. Yeah, I'm just like figure it out there. <laughs> And I was like, we just when you switch on the engine now, I just need to press the unit open. I'm like, oh, I, I know. I just yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's yeah, it's like I didn't know. switching on the engine. And really, you just have to click and it open. So I was like, yeah. But sometimes also just sitting and going to watch some YouTube videos yeah, and yeah, a bit about it yeah. is good. But I think that every day when I'm learning more about it, um, that's where the beauty lies in it. And you really get to now understand why people work so hard to drive um, an expensive and a fancy car that it is. Because on our end, it's when you don't have the car, you're just like, yo, me and Manex only have the car. Yeah, yeah, and the and petrol and no, the maintenance no, no, no. I'm and just the whatever. Stay like this. Yeah. Until you experience a very good car, you will get to understand that, yay, yay. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no, as, no, no. As we are here, Kilimanjaro. Yeah, no, 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 it's nice up here. Yeah. <laughs> you can come join us. You know, I no, can give you a helping hand. You get yeah. In fact, if you know anyone else who drives a Mac, you're like, hey, I'm so sorry I didn't understand. Yeah. Because I was I was on the other side. I was like, I need a chestnut. Mm. I could just bought that car to show the people or just to get girls or da 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 da. Yeah. You know what the naysayers would say because that's all we know when yeah. you're on the other side. But when you get to experience it, really, you get to understand, like, yeah, no. All right, I think, Bombil, it's time for us to cheers, please. Yeah, just no, grab, really, grab, grab hey? You know what I mean? Um, I think we've had a fantastic conversation. <laughs> I totally um, love um, who, Whoever wants to hate must just hate. You're welcome. It's okay, you're but welcome. you are also more than welcome to uh, get your own bag. <laughs> um, cheers, Bombili. Congratulations on Thank your... Thank you so much. On your, ...on your growth, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 one more time, one more time. We did, <laughs> we did, we did, we did. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So congratulations. Um, we wish you all the best at the industry loop. Um, if something happens, you know we will we will talk about it. <laughs> we, we will write and our that's things. That's what I love about um, you keeping it always yes. authentic. It's because you tell it like it is, and um, you know the conversations talk that we will talk all our friends. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know in our WhatsApp groups so and cool everything. It's just so cool to hear about it when you when you're like tuned in <laughs> or like you know when you get to watch the podcast. You like yeah. you're just saying it like it is because that's the authenticity and that's the thing what people are fading away from and we shouldn't be fading away from. All right, cool. Bombili Shilongo Mensa, now maybe as a darling, now maybe a sweetheart. Uh, she is uh, the uh, brand new ambassador of Mercedes Benz. She's the ambassador of Play. Uh, 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 that's a uh, uh, power play for that matter. Yeah. Pardon me. Uh, Standard Bank is also in her pocket. I don't even know what other things she does, <laughs> but she's there. She was talking about property. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Inspirational stuff. Until the next loop, you say GMTM. <laughs>